Who on earth is James Hartigan? Why the hell is he on YouTube? And crucially, can he handle a spicy chicken sandwich? Hello, welcome. Chances are, if you have clicked on this video, you know me already, probably for my work in poker, specifically as the lead commentator on the European Poker Tour. During my time in poker, I've always been closely affiliated with poker stars. In fact, until recently, I was a full-time employee at Stars, working both in front of and behind the camera on the TV shows and live streams from the EPT, NAPT, PCA, and PSPC. Anything and everything with an acronym. I'm still under contract to Poker Stars, but now I am an ambassador. And that means I can focus purely on presenting those TV shows and live streams, commentating on live poker tournaments around the world, and co hosting the weekly Poker in the Ears podcast. Plus, every now and then, I get to play a bit of poker. So, what else can I tell you about me? Well, I'm 48 years old. At the time of recording, I'm still 48. And I'm still deluding myself into thinking that 48 is in your mid 40s. Just give me that one, okay? Um, and I live here in Putney in Southwest London. It's by the river. It's nice and green and leafy. Granted, this time of year in this weather, it doesn't look its best. In summer, it's beautiful. And it's also pretty close to Heathrow Airport, which is convenient because I travel frequently and I spend more hours at this airport than could be good for anyone's mental or physical well-being. Anyway, I mostly travel for work, but it's not all business trips. There are other places I go to. There are other reasons why I often find myself at Heathrow in the early hours of the morning. Welcome to Helsinki. I have a personal connection with the Finnish capital and come here as often as I can. Even in the month of February, when it is close to minus 20 Celsius, which explains why I'm currently dressed like Han Solo in The Empire Strikes Back. Much nicer weather in Southern California. Yes, I've become a regular visitor to the city of Los Angeles. Now, this isn't because I want to spend even more time in the company of my friend and colleague, Joe Stapleton, although I do enjoy hanging out with Joey. It's because my girlfriend lives in LA and we're trying to make the whole long distance relationship thing work. We've been going out for about nine months. We met last summer. In fact, it was Mr. Stapleton who introduced us. And we met in the most romantic place in the world. Paris. Resort and Casino Las Vegas. Yes, I don't think it's gonna surprise any of you to learn that I make frequent trips to Vegas. It is after all, the poker capital of the world. And I come here two to three times per year. Like all Vegas regs, I think I have a love-hate relationship with the place. It's awesome and obscene in equal measure, but it's somewhere I recommend everyone comes to at least once, especially if you have any interest in gambling. For me, it's the best place in the world to play poker. Okay, so moving on from poker for the time being, what else am I into? Well, I am a watch guy. Yeah, I like watches. I collect them and I consume a lot of watch content on YouTube. Now, I'm not 100% sure when or why my watch obsession started, but it probably has something to do with James Bond. More on that in a moment. Cinema is a huge passion of mine and over the years I've built a decent collection of movies on disc. I studied film at university and I was a film critic for both BBC Local Radio and the talk station LBC. So I've mentioned James Bond a couple of times already. I am a huge Bond nerd, I confess. And the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed the t-shirt earlier on. The books, the films, I've read them all, I've seen them all, multiple times. And the answer to your question is Timothy Dalton. Controversial, I know, but we'll get to that down the line. Which brings me to why I'm here and what I have planned for this channel. The key question being, what can you expect to see? Well, ironically, probably not that much poker content because I think it's fair to say that PokerStars has that covered. And all of the poker stuff I work on is produced by PokerStars and can be found on their YouTube channel. Live streams, TV shows, classic hands, podcast interviews, tutorials, you name it, you'll find it there. And no doubt, you'll find my face and my voice all over it. Oh, while I remember, if you live in the UK, there is a separate PokerStars YouTube channel where you have to sign in to verify you're over 18. I'll make sure I link to both channels in the video description. 
obviously, with poker being such a huge part of my life, I can't ignore it entirely. And I'm not averse to producing a few vlogs from my life on tour, taking you behind the scenes at some of the poker events I work at and bringing you tales from my travels. For example, you can hear me have a meltdown like a small child every time I have to fly through Gatwick. Or on a more positive note, I can wax lyrical about the amazing Finnair Lounge at Helsinki Airport. There's a good chance I talk about watches. Now, I don't want to step into territory already occupied by others, but I can bring you a personal perspective. I can talk about my journey as an enthusiast and collector and showcase some of the watches I own. I might talk about Bond. Now, again, there's a lot of good content on this subject already out there. For example, I strongly recommend Calvin Dyson's YouTube channel, and I will link to that below. But I can show off some of the Bond memorabilia I've collected over the years, and I cannot wait to tell you why you are all wrong about Timothy Dalton. You can certainly expect movie talk. I will gladly provide the occasional review or delve into the archives to discuss my favorite films of all time. One thing I should highlight is that I love broadcasting live, and I am planning some live streams for later in the year. I'd love to do some in-depth debates and interviews, and obviously it would be great to interact with you in real time. Well, on the subject of interaction, we've reached that inevitable point in the proceedings where I ask you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification icon. I'm so sorry, my mouth is on fire right now. I would also like you to post a comment below. Specifically, I'd like you to post a question because my next video is going to be an AMA session. So whether you want to ask about poker, movies, bond, watches, whatever the subject, please post your question below and I will try to answer as many of your questions as I can in my next video. But right now, I need to go and stick my tongue in some yogurt. So thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.